type of energy and mentality do you bring into this fight? Like, are you, or do you feel like you're in a really good place uh, as you're about to get into the ring again? Yeah, so for me, fighting, it's been my whole life. Imagine for me as an immigrant living in Brazil at 16 years old, convincing my dad that MMA is going to become the biggest sport of all time. Dropping eighth grade, have my dad and my mom sign a letter, give me one thousand dollars because they don't have money. Coming to America, and two years later, become the youngest champion in UFC history. And back in the time, I remember, I saw the fight with Oscar with Chavez Chavez, and and I said, this is not fair. We make just little money, and these boxers have it. And why we is not the the the, the field is not fair, and still today it's not fair. And but I had a kid, I had a dream, and I went to search for this dream. So I know what's hard work, so I know what not having, sleeping in the gym for two years, dreaming, watching, said, I want to become the fierce fighters of all time. And I've been evolving because in MMA to become successful, you got to know how to strike. And then boxing's been my top martial arts that I evolve in, and I become a master of it, so striking from different angles. So I, I have, it's, you have to be emotional but unemotional. So every athlete, you gotta learn how to control your emotions because your emotions can be your enemy, and most of the time it's your enemy. So you make a decision on emotion, you made bad decisions. So my job and my team job is just to train, to, to execute. So basically, if you're a Navy SEAL, you become an emotional war, you're gonna die. If you're fighting, you become, you're fighting an emotion, because everything is emotion, but we cannot be emotional. So it's, um, it's learning how to control and how to master mm -hmm. your emotions, because I can feel one way and act other way. That's the master of life, you know? What about mastering the art of boxing? What is the actual training like and gonna be like for these next? Feet. Your feet, it has to move, so your body has to go with your feet. So the problem with a lot of boxers and you know, a lot of MMA guys, they, they don't know how to balance in their feet and their hips. So I'm, um, I study bio, you know, bio, biomechanic and, and I create many ways, I, cre I develop many ways to punch, punching, walking. I have to create martial arts, adapting, striking from karate, kung fu. So, you know, I was watching Bruce Lee documentary and I said, great. I'm the Bruce Lee of MMA because I didn't went to Hollywood. I went to real fighting, and so it's literally what I did in MMA. It, it was was phenomenal. To today, no one can beat my record as a knockout artist. So my 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 goal is in being to finish in fights. That's why people like it. People want to see the finish. So it's it's going to be I'm going to be boxing with a guy who is a who knows how to move his feet. He's very, he has speed, his jab is great, fantastic. So I'm, I've been training for that. And, I'm, and how can I go and impose my will? That's the other thing, is just impose your will. Uh, typically how this goes when the MMA fighter enters the boxing ring is, historically we see it doesn't go very well for the MMA fighter, but we did just see Anderson Silva have great success against Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. <coughs> Um, what do you take away from his performance, uh, uh, inspirationally, um, tactically, what you saw? Is there anything that you can take from Anderson's performance and the way he approached that? It's, it's, just, it's just you have to be who you are. We are individual. We're different. Everyone has your own story. He was boxing a guy. <laughs> he, he's like not even 10% of us. <laughs> I'm boxing a real bo I'm, I'm boxing the best boxer of all time. So I'm boxing a guy who really know how to move and how to execute. So it's hard to, to compare apples to apples. So in, in, in that's frustration when you come out to that. So the idea of me focus on me, focus on my strength, develop my strength. And I know my strength, it's a, it's a, it's a, I'm a guy who can move, who can box. I used to box Anderson Silva, I used to whip him, whip him. He, he is the most afraid guy. He, he did, I, I promise he will never want to box me. Box me. I promise. And if he does, I will love it. But I promise because I know how to box. I spent one year in Cuba training with all the Cubans. So I learned the art of boxing. The art of boxing is like you have to move your feet. You have to execute. You got to have a great jab. You jab, everything run through your jab. So it, it's, it's about, it's, it's matching. It's, it's, like, it's like chess. You, you, 
so and the way I box is just differently you know I'm looking for the angles you know my punches are hard. sometimes can be awkward because it's, it's, I, I adapt all the martial arts into my boxing what are should we expect you to continue doing more boxing I'm looking this? I'm looking for a great opponents you know Holyfield is one of them I'm looking to fight the best guys I'm, I'm ready to step I'm this and this you guys have to understand this is not exhibition He's not a YouTuber here. He's a legacy. It's a generation thing. We're not talking about you know guys going there and just putting up a freaking show. That that is that is no meaning. That is no legacy. And that's why Mayweather and the other kid, you know, with one loss, one, one loss and zero wins. How embarrassing this for a fighter to fight a guy like that. A guy like you know Mayweather, a great great boxer. This is a, a real fight, and with real fighters, with real history, with real legacy. It's a legendary fight. You cannot miss it. It's, it's putting generation in the same room. What Thriller has been done, never been done in entertaining in, in the whole in the whole world. They put in a show that is pleasing the grandkids, the son. So you're putting everyone in one room. You can be watching your kids can be watching your PlayStation and watching the, 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 the fights and with your friends in their room and you have your sons and your grandkids your, your so everyone at the same house so i i have all the respect for ryan and the trailer team that putting this amazing thing that i promise you guys september 11 is going to be a week with the guys will never forget